What's up out there? This is the Bird Daddy, and I'm the Loyal Shooter, and this is gonna be a very, very quick video, man. I just wanted to know, man. I'm asking, I'm asking every social media platform that I have, who the fuck told our black women that it was cute to have an attitude and walk around with a nasty ass little attitude all day? Like, who told them that sticking your nose up and just snarling and 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 fucking just being mean and just generally un fucking pleasant? Was was something that was uh to to be proud of and, and to be brag you know to brag about like so many women um uh, uh out here in our, in our age uh, I don't want to say our age but in this day and time or day and age rather um they 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 pride themselves on just being just difficult to fucking deal with or like just unpleasant or just like nasty and rude and if I, if I had to think back man I, I guess. Um, some of the movies in like the early 2000s and even some of the shows and shit in the early 2000s, late 90s, uh, would depict like the pretty black girl, like the one that everybody wanted as, uh, just being sassy and mean and will cuss you out and always yelling and, uh, you know, what you're looking at and this and that and the third. So I guess that translated to our women fast forward 15 years to where they feel like it's a part of being a bad bitch or a pretty girl to just have a nasty stinking fucking attitude but i mean bro that shit is, it really makes you disgusting like it, it's real shit like nobody worth their worth your time if you're a woman is gonna really want someone who is like that to deal with on a consistent basis yes a nigga might want to fuck you uh and they might put up with that bullshit ass attitude for as long as it takes to fuck you but once that prize has got has gotten like it's over but as far as you know the end goal which you know everybody's end goal i believe should be at, at, at least some sort of companionship and commitment maybe not necessarily marriage maybe not even necessarily kids possibly should be kids because family is the cornerstone of the community so you should definitely want to you know be fruitful and multiply and have a family but at the very least to not be alone forever so to couple up and group up nobody wants to couple up and group up with somebody who's just generally unfucking pleasant to be around you mad in the morning you mad in the evening you mad at night you mad when something good's happened you're mad because you're mad you're mad because you've been happy for too long just just yeah just this nobody wants to deal with that like who the fuck told y'all shit that that shit was fucking cute like come on bro that's all i had to fucking say today man i don't know just bird daddy man Lord, sure. i'm out of this motherfucker yeah man and i stopped recording but then i started back again because i mean you, you know you got it's, it's like it's like it's being promoted just to, to 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 the umpteenth degree man you got this song uh jt out man from the city girls man and she's uh, uh pretty in the face but my attitude stank it's like they bragging about that type of shit man you know what i'm saying but see the thing about it is it they try to act as if the the stank attitude is just a part of who they are but when they go on these white people jobs they put that funk on and that, and, that, and that fake ass goddamn smile and they say good morning to air to their white bosses and their white supervisors and they they're all nice and pleasant with them when they go on these uh career jobs i'm not talking about the bullshit jobs like you know fast food or you know these call center jobs i'm talking about these when these women actually um you know, go to college and they get like a degree and they start working in an office or they start working in, in, in their career jobs like they 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 can they can curb that stank ass fucking attitude when they walk into that damn job and, 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 and see that white boss who don't give a fuck about them and fire their ass in a minute and replace them in the next fucking minute. But when it's they dealing with the general public or their man or just anybody, they want to give them the stank ass fucking attitude because they think it's cute. But you can smile and be pleasant with the white man at your white job. You know what I'm saying, man? We got to do something about this shit, man. Now I'm done. I'm the lawyer shooter. I'm out of this motherfucker.